Thanks, Danny. The University of Miami is in the process of remaking its campus to be more eco-friendly, as well as more responsive to the needs of students, faculty, and the community at large. I'm here in front of the Donna Ishalela Student Center, which was built in the midst of this to contribute to these needs, but many are questioning whether it's serving its purpose efficiently. I use the Shalala Student Center, I would say at least twice a week, maybe more. I'm a P100 when, I, when we bring in students and their families that come to visit campus. This is like one of the buildings that they want to see the most of because it's like our newest bright and shiny building. The Shalala Student Center was open to students in the fall of 2013, costing over $46 million. It was past President Donna Shalala's vision for nearly a decade. The students really needed a facility, a place where they could uh, meet collab for collaboration um, and studying. The Student Center hosts a variety of events and offers numerous lounges and study places for students in the community, but there are some who believe that the building design is still not architecturally sound. A lot of the things that we learn in the School of Architecture aren't really um, shown in the design of our own campus, which is a little bit strange to me. This building itself, um, I think right now it's in the process of being certified as a LEED building. Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design, or LEED, is one of the most popular green building certification programs used worldwide that aims to help building owners and operators be environmentally responsible and use resources efficiently. It's sitting right on the lake, which is something like there are definite setbacks that usually um, LEED has to push in order to get that certification. You have to be a certain distance away from all natural waterways so that the building and its foundation don't tamper with that. Aside from LEED standards, there are also unpleasing architectural designs in this building. The ground staircase is interesting. Uh, I'm not quite sure what kind of statement was being made when it was as part of the design of the building. If you're walking underneath a staircase like that, it doesn't make you feel comfortable. Like you, you see that those stairs are above your head and they're not being visually, visibly supported by anything. And also just walking up those stairs and being able to see the ground below you isn't a comforting thing. Even with these problems, the Student Center has become an important addition to student life on campus. I think aesthetically the where it's located right on the lake is, is amazing. I think it's a great place to just hang out. I think it's great that people can go have a cup of coffee. Great place to um, meet informally or formally. I think it's met the students' needs, yeah. I think the programming that it has in here is useful because like before this building like the student organizations never really had their own spaces to go into so like I think for me that's like one of the biggest um, I don't know improvements that this that this building brought to campus because that wasn't really a thing before this. If you would like to check out the Shalala Student Center for yourself it is open Sunday through Thursday from 8 a.m. to 1 a.m. and Friday and Saturday from 8 a.m. to 2 a.m. Back to you at the desk Danny.